chance to be rude to Hey you. kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and Find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless
Good afternoon and welcome to the Brimble Australian National Championships Finals hosted in Adelaide. This game that we have first up here is a men's intermediate matchup between New South Wales and South Australia Sharks White. For New South Wales, we have number 16, Sean Coucher. Number two, Andrew Chapman. Chapman. Number three, Benjamin Hellyer. 39, Brian Gilberta. 69, Mark Makarath. 84, Brad Fuller. 90, Craig Sadler. 92, our Canadian input, Don Goodmar. 93, Matt Hudson, who's the AC. 95, Ben Ermish. And 96, our goalkeeper, Kevin Chen. For South Australia White, with number two, Marty Wells. Number 20, Harry Macris. 21, Robbie Will White, who's the AC. 35, Michael Workman, working hard in the goalkeeping. 44, Warren Ennison, captain. 23, Keith Thomas. 59, Graham Ellix, who's the AC. 62, Daniel Ellix. 68, Toby Strickland. 89, Kinthorpe. 96, Arnie Mortimer. And we have some unnumbered players, not sure if they're actually playing. Matt White, Cameron Callier, and Daniel Kosica. Rip being called there on New South Wales player number 95. Two minutes. See if South Australia can capitalise.
We're back to five on five. New South Wales successfully killing off that penalty. Back underway.
That's the end of the first half of this men's intermediate match up between South Australia Sharks White and New South Wales Sliders. So far it's the New South Wales Sliders up a one goal to nil with that late goal. Plenty of possession, piling on the pressure. Did look though like the Sharks had a few good breakaway opportunities. New South Wales will have to tighten that up if they're looking to keep the scoreline heading in their direction. Sharks though can take some positives out of that. We'll see how the next half unfolds. Let's take a look at some highlights.
Got a penalty against player number 39 from New South Wales. Two minutes for interference. Just finishing up a timeout that was called by South Australia. Will be underway shortly. Here we go. Four minutes, 33 seconds remaining in this match. New South Wales currently leading South Australia Sharks. One goal to nil. Back to even teams, 5-on-5, five five, 2 minutes 25 remaining in this match. New South Wales successfully killing the penalty and currently lead one goal to nil.
And that's the game. New South Wales sliders versus SA White in the men's intermediate division. New South Wales sliders coming up with the goods. One goal to nil. That final goal at the end there disallowed, but you guys can go back and watch and see if it came in before or after that buzzer went off. We're thinking it came in a bit before. Next up, we have women's. We have ACT Phoenix versus the South Australia Sharks.
Good afternoon and welcome to the Adelaide Ice Arena. We have the women's grand final here this afternoon with the SA Red team facing off against ACT. Just do a quick run through of the teams. So for ACT, we have number six, Carrie Thomas. Number nine, Katie Parr. Number 10, Lynn Watson. 11, Alicia Martin. That's in the yellow helmet. Number 12, Olivia Boyd. 17, Tamika Johnson. 23, Debbie Lamont. 43, Kirsty Martin in the purple helmet. 45, Sally Ormiston. 47, Courtney Tanner. 61, Maria Throop. And she is the goalkeeper today for the ACT ladies. On the South Australia red team, their goalkeeper is number 14, Sanura Van Mali. Number 17 is Leilani Ahrens. 22, Jazz Broadbent. 26, Natalie Stevens. 28, Caitlin Walker. 33, Kate Irvine. 37, Sophie Common. Number 50, Jen Farmer. 66, Maddie Riley. 70, Tash McMahon. 73, Abby Mortimer. 75, Sally Newenham. And 94, Bridie Wilkin. The teams are just finishing their warm-ups now and we'll have this game getting underway. Last night we had the semi-final between ACT and the New South Wales women, which the ACT came out on top. So they've got one more belt game under their belts than the SA Red team. Uh, we'll see if that makes any difference for them today. Looks like our refs today are ready to get started. We've got Chris Hukins and Don Godmayer in the stripes. And there goes the ball and Alicia Martin taking it straight down the end there. Round the back of the goal. It's been taken over by Mortimer. And passed across to Newenham. Hitting it deep. Caitlin Walker's on the run. But Lamond is with her. And a nice little tap there, but Mortimer picks it up. Cross to Newenham. Trying to get past Alicia Martin, but a stick in the way. Down in the corner with Sophie Common. And there's Kirsty Martin. Trying to get past Mortimer, but Mortimer gets through. Lamont picks it up in the corner, taking it around the back with a nice kick. Boyd picking it up. Tussle there with Common and Martin. Out to Mortimer. Hitting it deep. In the corner with Jen Farmer. Looking for the deflection there, but didn't get it off. Alicia Martin on the run. Cross to her sister, Kirsty Martin. And Kate Irvine with the ball on the blue line. Waiting for the setup and the subs. Passing it across. 
Stevens. Oh, sorry, Broadbent. He's got that down in the corner. Protecting the ball. Into the centre. Oh, wrong pass across to the Martin Twins. And they have hit it deep and taking the sub. So SA Red will pick that one up in the corner there. Aaron's to Irvine. Irvine looking for the big shot. ACT keeping it up in their forward half. Thomas with the ball now. Cross to Watson. And SA breaks through. Wilkin following on from Thomas, who's picked up the ball. Round the back to Watson. Blocked by Broadbent then. Broadbent and Watson. And Mortimer was on that one, but it looks like ACT, no. SA have gotten it back. Newenham across to Mortimer again. Mortimer down to Common. Thomas is with her, but Common's taking it round the back. Into Tash McMahon. Right in front of the goal there, but couldn't get it through. Mortimer's on the ball. Johnson is with her. Now Watson on Mortimer there. Right behind the goal. Cross to Newenham. Newenham takes the shot. Blocked there by Parr. Parr across to Watson. Up and that's out from Ormiston then. Tash McMahon on the run. Stops the icing. Back around to Aaron's, but the Alicia Martin picks that up and then Thomas. Aaron on that one now. Kate Irvine picking up the ball there. Can she get it through? Tash McMahon on the run. She's got a good run on her. Alicia Martin's on her. Oh, blocked at the final point by the goalie. Uh, the ref has stopped play. Hopefully Tash is okay. It looks like she might have hit her head then. But she's walking off. Big cheer for Tash McMahon there. As we reset. drop. Kate Irvine sends it through to Broadbent. But Lamond is on her. Alicia Martin's there as well. Farmer to Irvine. Irvine with a big flick. Cross to Walker. Not enough to get past Kirsty Martin. Riley passing it back to Irvine. Looking for the out. Flicks it over. Walker's on it, but Watson picks it up. And it's a one-two from Kirsty to Alicia Martin. Getting it across, but not getting there in time to beat Kate Irvine. Holding it in the corner, looking for an out. Seeing if her team can open up some space for her. Cross to Riley. Trying to get past the ACT girls, but they are on top of it. 
crosses to Broadbent. He's trying to get past Watson, gets it over the red. ACT are now offside. And Farmer trying to pick that one up from Broadbent, but slips past them. Alicia Martin on the run. Oh, passes it back to Jen Farmer on SA. Oops. And caught offside. Here we go, Watson across to par. Mortimer picks it up. Stevens. Common and Ewanham. Passing it around. SA has the control here. Cross back to Ewanham. Takes a shot. Blocked there nicely by par. Stevens picking it up in the corner. Watson is on her, Stevens and Watson having a bit of a parry there. Cross to Common. Thomas is on her. And Watson. SA hungry for it. But ACT on the break. Thomas and Johnson hitting it deep. But Newenham has picked it up for SA. Flicks it over. Doesn't quite get it past. Uh, but the refs have stopped. It looks like that might be... Looks like that might have been a hand pass. We'll see what the refs have to say afterwards. Tash McMahon. Farmer with the ball, gets it across to Irvine, but it's back over the red. SA coming back on side. Irvine, cross to Broadbent. Gets it past Boyd, running down with Martin, but Lamont will get there first. And Kirsty Martin, Aaron's is in there. Kirsty doing cross to the ice. Picked up by SA, Tash McMahon. Kate with the ball behind the goals. Flicks it over to Jen Farmer. I can't get past that ACT defense line on the red. Alicia Martin back to Le Monde. Long trying to keep it in, but they can't. Aaron's on the run. Farmer's there as well. Farmer picks it up. Farmer across to Tash McMahon in the middle. Nearly had the shot on there. Farmer's got the ball behind the goals. Back up to Irvine. Johnson is on her. Irvine with a big shot. Johnson blocked it. And an out from Kirsty Martin, but it just comes back to Irvine. Cross to Aaron's. Little flick gets it through. Par will run that one down. ACT takes back the possession. Back around the goals. Through to Watson. Walker is on her. Back to Par and out of bounds. Good chance for a sub and a reset for them.
we go. ACT on the run. But Mortimer's got the ball. ACT not letting her have it easily. Round the back. Picked up by Wilkin. But Thomas is on her. ACT right in there. Riley across to Mortimer. Mortimer up the boards to Broadbent. Pa stopping her there. Pa looking. Will she take a big shot? No, flick it over to Thomas. Into Watson. Takes a shot. Hits Thomas. Takes a shot. <laughs> Giving the goalie some action there, and Mortimer hits it in for the out. Watson gets to it. Broadbent's on her, though. And Mortimer keeping it from going across the line. ACT looking for the out. Stevens picking it up. ACT pushing up. Thomas is on that one. But Newenham won't let her have it easily. Common there. Alicia Martin with a little help there. Quite a high stick, didn't hit the ball. Nothing to call. Alicia Martin knocking it in. Could have had a deflection there, didn't come off. Up to Tash McMahon. To Mortimer. Tash for the run. But Alicia Martin gets there. Kate Irvine. But the Martins get it off her. Pass back to the goalie for SA. There we go. The command for a run again. Right down to the corner. Boyd is with her though. Passing it back to Stevens. Back to. McMahon. Alicia Martin gets a stick on. Forcing Kate Irvine to run it back. There's Jen Farmer. Tries for a flick. Katie Parr knocks it down. That looked quite high though. And yes, Katie Parr, number nine for ACT, has been sent for a high stick. So ACT doing the penalty kill with Alicia and Kirsty Martin, Watson and Ormiston. Power play from the SA girls here. So trying to get control back of that ball so they can set up. Kate Irvine with the ball now and across to Caitlin Walker. Back to Irvine. Down to Common. 
Irvine and Common doing the one two. Shot from Common, gets it down in the corner. Gonna pass back to Walker. Just gonna pass it back in the corner to Arons. Tries for the deflection of Farmer, but it was picked up by one of the Martin twins. Nearly had that there from SA. Good scramble in front of the net. Oh, Kate runs to try to keep it on side, but couldn't quite get there. Alicia Martin is right on her, just as the buzzer goes. There's the first half. No score so far. We still have 29 seconds on the penalty for ACT. Here we go, second half. SA coming in strong with the power play. The ACT manages to get it across. Alicia Martin with the ball. Mortimer is on her. Walker's on there too. Walker and Mortimer fighting for the ball. But Watson picks it up. Passing across to Lamond. Down into the corner. Thomas is on it. Stevens with her. Stevens hitting it up to Broadbent. Lamond, good defense, picking it up, getting it through. Bit of a scramble there, but back to Lamond. Cross the ice. Down to Ormerson. Watson to par. Walker. The par with a tap gets it across the ice. Back to ACT. Stevens now. Mortimer to Wilkin. Farmer. Wilkin down behind the goal. Watson with the ball, Farmer on her. Hits it up the wall. And Broadbent picks it up. Taking it round the back. Maintaining control. Through to Wilkin right in front of the goal. Nearly had a deflection there, it didn't come off. Stevens with good defense, but almost didn't got past her. Mortimer's on her now. Good defense from Mortimer there. Round the back to Stevens. Reading the play, setting up, through to Wilkins. Back to Stevens. Thomas and Ormiston blocking the through path in the centre there. Wilkin and Stevens passing it back. Round to Walmartama. 
Back to Stevens, to Wilkins. Stevens still holding it behind the net. Coming out through the centre a little. Up the side to Wilkin. But Boyd intercepts the her pass. Bit of a fumble there, but Parr picks it up. Stevens hits it away. Parr again. But Common gets past her. Oh, Boyd picking it up on the red line. With the big flick. Tanner with the ball in the corner now. Stevens is on her. Thomas picking it up and back to Boyd. But McMahon is on her. Ormiston with the shot. Deflected away by Stevens, taking it round the back again. Flick over to McMahon. Going for a run with Jen Farmer. It's gone back over the red. They have to come back on side. Pick it up and start again. Farmer across to Irvine. To Common. Almost and nearly picks it up, but it just goes back to SA. Irvine to McMahon. Ormiston's on her. She's looking for a break. Here's a player free that she can pass to. Flicks it across. Common picking it up there. Aaron's back to Irvine. To McMahon. Taking it down in the corner. Pass Percy Martin. Round the back of the goal. Across to Common, who takes a shot. Can't get through. Johnson trying to pick it up. Ormiston trying to pick it up. But Irvine, in the end, has the stronger stick. Getting it past Johnson there. But Boyd won't have any of that. Through to Kirsty Martin. Ormiston and across. Irvine chasing it down in SA's defensive half. Cross to Newenham. And Walker with the run. Watson is on her though. Picks up the ball before she gets to it. Bit of a tussle there for Walker. Oh, right in front of the goal line. Tanner tries to get it out, but back to Mortimer. Aarons takes the shot in. Down in the corner. Par with the ball. Broadbent is on her. Watson. The ball behind the net. Cross to Kirsty Martin. Kirsty and Alicia on the run. With Tanner. Alicia gets it past Walker there, but Mortimer runs it down. Tanner is on her, passes it up to Aarons. Can't get past Parr. So passing it round the back to Mortimer. Kirsty Martin picks it up. Mortimer again. Flicks it over, but not past Kirsty Martin. Broadbent running it down, but it gets out across to Alicia Martin and then to Watson. Waiting for the setup. Across to Lamond. Big flick, little too far. Across to Newenham. Mortimer. Back to Newenham. Flicks it over. Caitlin Walker running onto it. Straight into the path of Lamond. Alicia Martin's there too, and she will pick it up. Will Riley get through it? Yes, good defense from Riley. Walker passes it back only to Lamond though. And Thomas with the run in the center. Across to Johnson. Mortimer is on it. Tap from Mortimer. And Mortimer is on the run. Uh, called for an offside. Unfortunate. Got the run just as the subs were coming on.
Here we go. Jen Farmer. In a scrabble there. Kirsty Martin wins it. To Boyd, then to Parr. Flick over, but only as far as Jen Farmer. Kirsty Martin takes a hit, but it gets back to Irvine. Using the boards to get it across. Back and forth between the ACT and SA at this point in the neutral zone. Stevens tries to get it across to Common, didn't quite come off. Taking it back. Tanner is on her though. Common to Irvine. Cross to Farmer. Gets it past Boyd. Pars on the run with Farmer. Touch from Farmer, but Parr picks it up. Round the back. And Ormiston gets there. Wilkin is on her. The Boyd around the back, passes it to Parr. To Boyd, holding it behind. Taking their time. Parr with the ball now. Farmer in front of her, blocking the path through and Wilkin on the other side. Gets it through to Ormiston. But Stevens wasn't having any of that. Wilkin gets it around to Farmer. Flicks it across. Through to Stevens. Down to Common. And back to Stevens. Ormiston blocking her shot. Passes it down to Common. Flicks it through past Kirsty Martin. Parr tries to pick it up. Farmer's in there as well. Common tries for the shot. Tries again. Boyd picking it up, but Wilkins with the tap. Shot from Common. Blocked by Kirsty Martin and picked up by Parr. Cross to Ormiston. Parr on the run. Flicks it over. Mortimer picks it up. Gets it past Parr. Parr's with her still. Johnson with a tap. Stevens gets it through. Keeps it in. Parr flicks it over and out of bounds. That's good enough for a reset from then. Here we go. Thomas sends it round to Lamont and Watson. McMahon is on her. But gets through. SA picking it up in their defensive half. Aaron's on the ball. Round to Newenham. They're controlling it in their defense to set up. Irvine flicks it across to Broadbent. She's got Lamont on her, but she pushes through. Alicia Martin picks it up though. Stick in there and Broadbent could have it back. In with the stick check. Won't let her have it easily. Lamont picks it up in the corner. Here we go, Newenham with a shot. On their knees, can't quite get it in. Tanner there. Mug. Irvine with the shot. Blocked by Watson. Newenham on that there, gets there before Thomas. Passes it back to Ahrens. Newenham with the shot. Blocked by Lamond. Watson blocking that one. And here we have Alicia Martin. Through to Tanner. Tries to get it through, but... Hits the Irvine wall. Lamont tries to get it past Broadbent. Broadbent is there, gets ahead. 
controls it behind the behind the net to a certain extent. But Walker will pick it back up for SA there. Boyd and Johnson in with the defense. But Aaron's is still there and will pick it back up. Taking a shot, Boyd. Nothing's getting past her. And Alicia Martin hitting it deep and taking a sub. SA will chase that down. Aaron's passing it round the back to Irvine. Ormiston stepping up there. But Irvine's got a big hit and she can flick it quite far. Walker's got it there. Don't walk with it, Walker. Ormiston with it now. Taking a shot. Got it past Irvine, but not through the keeper. Ormiston there. In the corner. Kate picks it up. Kate Irvine. Jen Farmer with the flick, but Parr picks it up there. And Common on the run. Can she get past Parr? Yes. Passes it to Farmer. Farmer's on the run. Thomas with her, but she's in front. Takes the shot. Doesn't quite get it. The keeper's up. Could have had a second one there from Common, but it didn't come off. Thomas picks it up for ACT. Parr controlling the ball behind there. ACT wanting to be very sure of their defence. Thomas now. Behind to Parr. Common is on that. Cross to Boyd. Up the wall to Ormiston. Farmer will get in the way. Common's in the way there as well. They won't let them have it easily. Common centres it. The goalie had to move. Keep him busy. Ormiston up to Kirsty Martin, but it deflects across the wall to Walker. Stevens picking that one up off Tanner. Cross to Common. Taking a shot to centre it, but Kirsty Martin's in the way. Across to Ormiston. Mortimer. Marking her up. And running that down in the corner. Ormiston's with her though. Cross to McMahon. Trying to go straight through Lamond and Kirsty Martin. Didn't quite work there. Broadbent picks that one up. But Watson stops it from going across the red. Mortimer blocking a nice shot there from Ormiston. And that's the end of our second half. As this is a final, I believe we will have overtime. Okay, so we will have a five minute overtime third period. It's going to be four on four, including keepers. So. Keepers on each side and three on the ice. If there's no goal after five minutes, then we will proceed to further overtime for shootouts. So ACT have chosen Kirsty and Alicia Martin and Sally Ormiston for their three. On the SA side, we have Kate Irvine, Sophie Common, and I believe that's Newenham, number 75 in the center.
Irvine with the ball across to Newenham. Flicks it over back to Irvine. Kirsty Martin with a flick across, but Newenham chasing that one down. Crosses to Common. Hits it up the wall. Kirsty Martin collects it. Tries a flick up the wall, but collected by Common. Across to Newenham, under the stick of Alicia Martin. Takes a shot, blocked by the keeper. Kirsty Martin picks that one up in the corner, passes it behind to Ormiston. Try to bounce it up the wall to Alicia Martin, but blocked there. Alicia Martin with the run. Hits it across to Kirsty, but a little bit too much energy on that one. Gets it across the red line. Alicia Martin going for the run. Kirsty sends it deep for her. Picked up by the keeper and frozen there. So we will have a quick reset. Newenham subbing off for Jen Farmer on SA. Farmer back to Stevens. Passing it round to Walker. So we've had some subs on the SA side, but not on the ACT. We'll see how that goes in terms of their energy levels. Farmer passing it to Stevens. Kirsty Martin not giving her an easy pass. Hits it up the wall to herself, gets in front of Kirsty Martin and goes for a run. Ormiston's in front, but does it again. Flicks it over to herself. Gets it in the corner. Ormiston's in the way. Taking it behind the goal. Hits it up the wall. Back to Walker. Alicia Martin facing off with her. Stevens with the ball now. Takes a shot in. Farmer could have had a deflection, didn't quite come off. Alicia Martin hitting it deep in the corner for an icing. We'll restart in ACT's defensive half. Some subs for ACT, Lamond, Watson and Thomas. SA, Newnham, Common and Mortimer on the ice now. SA controlling, Mortimer with the ball. Across to Common before Thomas could get to her. Takes a big shot, through to Newenham. Another shot and over Lamont, over the goalie's shoulder and into the back of the net for SA Red. And the crowd is absolutely loving it here. The home SA crowd, very pleased with that result. They certainly don't want to play anymore. <laughs> We're just confirming if that was the golden goal, uh, but it looks like that's it for the women's grand final. Well done to SA Red and ACT. Excellent competition for both teams.
So thank you very much, Liz Tilly, for the commentary on the women's final. A fantastic finish. My name is Brian Gilfeda. I'm here with my good friend, Sean Coucher. Sean, what a match. Absolutely excellent, Brian. Amazing effort by both teams. South Australia pulled away with a win in Golden Go overtime and a win for the home state. That's what we love to see. We will hopefully see another fantastic match. We've got the men's final here. We've got New South Wales v South Australia. The South Australian lineup, we have Innocent, uh, Harry Innocent. There are three Innocents, just to make us very confused. All brothers. Harry Innocent, uh, Mark Crowther, Andrew Masson, uh, Vince Mano, Adam Common, uh, Craig Barrett, Dylan Hunt, Steve Balestrin, Lewis Innocent, Kieran Corbell, Adam Collins, Joe Innocent, Matt Barrett, Jabin Sargent, and Mitch Geraghty. They only lost matches in the round robins to New South Wales, otherwise undefeated. The New South Wales lineup, Sean. New South Wales lineup includes as ad captain Hooper, Hanson, three Ferraras, again, all brothers, Wong, Brown, Yabsley, Sultana, Shepard, Golding, and Ermich, with Baxter and Siswandi as coach and assistant coach, respectively. New South Wales men's elite on a tear, having five wins, one tie to the South Australia team. Very well done. Of course, Reese Shepard out there celebrating a little bit earlier today as the coach of the men's intermediate winning side and Ermish was actually playing for them as well. Indeed, two players out there already enjoying championship glory in the intermediate round of this 2023 national tournament. They're hoping to repeat, however, with the men's elite looking to take away the gold and complete the New South Wales two out of three and it ain't bad. Don't discount South Australia. They have been very, very flash this tournament. The wins New South Wales have got on them, I would say, have been mostly jammy with a couple of freak goals here and there. New South Wales is definitely going to have to bring their A game if they want the points tonight. South Australia have proven that they can score with any player that they choose. They have an excellent back line and always field very strong elite teams on their home soil. South Australia look to complete their two out of three by winning this men's elite and it should be an amazing game all round. Excellent. Well, my name's Brian. Sean's right next to me. We'll be back shortly for the opening face-off.
As the two teams out here warming up, we've got an extended warm-up today. Uh, the face-off is scheduled for 2 o'clock local time. My director behind me is telling me that now is the perfect time to go to the toilet, but we'll keep that live stream going. We'll be back as that clock hits zero to start this match. Of course, all video being brought to you today by Jeff Ferrara and Larissa Ferrara. Doing fantastic work. And our cameraman today is Mark Mackerath, the goal scorer from the men's intermediate final. While we're waiting, please enjoy these highlights from the women's final just completed, where South Australia took an overtime win over ACT.
All right, Sung Soul, Funk Soul lovers, we are here. The final address from the South Australian captain to his charges. Looking forward to a fantastic game. That's Harry Innocen making sure that they all know exactly what to do and they don't give away any silly penalties. They're going to need to be at their best if South Australia wants to take home their first men's elite trophy since 1991. Quite a drought, Sean. Saxon Hooper also giving his charges the one over. They've been here before, they've done it before, but now they are in Theberton and they're going to have to do it against the home team. Both teams faced off in similar tournaments previous. New South Wales, mainly the victor. However, South Australia looking to claim the title on their home ice. South Australia have definitely w beaten this sort of New South Wales lineup before. I think uh, to the bookmaker, one might call them the underdogs, but they are certainly my pick today. With all now, on the line, Brian, they've got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose indeed. Our referees are Alan Jabs with the ball in centre and Corey Skillington on the uh, long side. Here we go. We've got Hooper and Common at the face-off. Back to Shepard. Over the line, but only as far as Crowther and then over. And around, that's Harry Innocent on the wing. Brown takes it off him. Harry Innocent, great moves to get it past, but bounces around and up over. This is Brown. Gets it past Masson into the corner. Hooper charging at the post. Brown can't get it to him. And cuts over, Shepard to take it off. South Australia looking to set up. It was Mark Ferrara looking for the shot. Can't get it through. This is Com Cobble now. Lovely little stick work and there's an overlap. It's Harry on the outside. And comes forward and brilliant defense there from Shepard just to tap it into the corner. Referees keep their arms down and it's play on. Hanson, round the back. Shove, palatable. Looks like a bit of a scuffle there. Amps up, no call by the referee. Sent back round to Mark. Oh, Ferrara. that was definitely, and he's just shoved him down. Just shoved him down. Or tripped him with his stick. Our apologies, trip with the stick. However, no call by the referee. Play on. Back to Mark Ferrara. New South Wales in the back of their goal. New South Wales looking to take back round Shepard. Back to Brown. New South Wales do have numbers here, and it's an opportunity to break out over the top. Sultana chasing on, however, out of bounds and will be dropped in the New South Wales defensive half. Geez, that was a little bit spicy down there in the corner there. It looked to be a bit of a scuffle, but the referees have not made a call. So at this stage, it's play on. And certainly Jabs had a clear line to see everything that was going on. So look at this stage when it's all on the line, when you're fighting for a national championship, there's bound to be some rough and tumble. There's bound to be some emotion there. And it's good to see both of these teams care and are willing to put it all on the line. That's true. As long as there's no silly penalties given away. Car charge right in Baltimore, it was right goal. there, right there for Adam Collins. Ermish was uh, on the wrong foot as well. South Australia taking it back. This is uh, Mano again. No, Common. Masson, sorry. We'll get there in the end. Back to Masson. Up the wall. Lewis Innocent over the top and ball lost. Ball hit out by South Australia. The ball will now be taken in their defensive half. Line up for New South Wales. Wong, Hooper, Brown, Shepard and Ferrara. Line up for South Australia. Barrett, Mano, Girati. Barrett again. And looks to be Sargent. Both strong lineups for both teams. Now we have Sargent in the back line. That's where he excels. Over to Girati, have a picked up by Shepard. Shepard down to Wong. In the corner near South Australia goes over to Hooper. Barrett loses the stick, however, looking to play without it at this stage. Hooper, shot, no good. Surrounded by three New South Wales players. However, off the poles. SA Keeper does a good job there. However, Wong looking to pass back in. Almost tripped by Sergeant Haber, holds onto it. At the back of South Australia's goal. 
continually pushed around. However, Gee, Garrity, there's a mentality there. Garrity still hasn't picked up his stick. He's just standing there at the back of the post. So it's Barrett through. back there. However, believes defense to be more important than his stick at this stage. Now goes to retrieve. Hooper looks to chase, goes out to Brown in the center. Has some pressure by South Australia, however, looking to pass up. Brown across. Taken well by Hanson over the halfway point. Got Ferrara. Ferrara taking it in. Has quite a few South Australian players in front. However, gets it down to the corner. Over and across Barrett. And cleared well by South Australian keeper. Very well cleared. Good call. Jeff Ferrara to Hanson. Has the shot on just wide. Sultana comes in to try and crumb it. And South Australia cleaning up out the back. This is Sergeant now. Sultana in chase. Goes around the back. This is the senior Barrett. This is Craig. Shoved down there by uh, Jeff Ferrara. Got to watch those hands. Craig Barrett. Around the side to Garrity. Uh, lost the ball into Common in the middle. Over to Matt Barrett. Charges it over the top, but that will be uh, iced. And we will reset on the short for New South Wales. Ball has been dropped. Ferrara versus Common. Shepard out to Brown. On top of the key. Shoots. Brown has a strong shot from the outside. Taken by Ferrara. Round the back of the South Australian goal. Has a few South Australian players in front, however. Off to Golding. Back to Brown. They've set up really well here. They've got Wong in the corner. He's got Jared Ferrara. Jared Ferrara takes a shot. Have a blocked by 13, Mason. Brown Tim takes Brown. another shot. Wong goes in. Oh, it was right there. Scooped up by Ferrara. Right oh, it's just outside of the goal. Oh, there's a play Big down. There's a play there. down that was slid into the boards there. Was uh, Golding, I think it is. He's up. And that's what you'd like to see. And his arms are moving. So hopefully his shoulders are still in place. He's going to have a sit down on the bench and think about what he just did. Looks to be up and recovered well. Penalty on South Australia. On Kieran Corbell for that hit on Golding. So it's five on four. Now, New, so now New South Wales have the advantage here. They're looking to convert with a five on four. Now, New South Wales has fielded a strong lineup of Yabsley, Brown, Hanson, Hooper, and Wong, uh, trying to have to break open that South Australian defense. Now, Hooper, back to Brown, top of the key, over to Yabsley. Yabsley, shot, no good. How it goes in front of South Australia, goal, unable to pick up by their forwards. Brown, looking to pass. Hooper, back to Brown. Have two South Australian defenders in front, so likely looking to pass. Yeah, looking over to try and get that overlap, aren't they? 100%. What New South Wales is trying to do here is find an opening straight to the goal and crack it as hard and fast as they can. If they're unable to get it in, the forward should be able to get those rebounds. However, South Australia doing a good job of defending as New South Wales have only had about one shot at this stage. Brown, well over the top. A lot of mustard on that shot. However, picked up beautifully by Wong. Wong back out to Brown. South Australia not looking to apply pressure. They are, however, looking to cut off the shooting avenues that New South Wales is looking to utilize and doing a great job so far. N another big shot by Yabsley. Goes straight past the goal, held out by Brown and picked up by New South Wales once again. it has been good defense from South Australia so far. Brown with another shot on just wide. Keeper had it covered and South Australia looking to uh, kill some time around the back. Hansen now. Out to Yabsley. Across to Hooper. Still looking for it. Krauser cuts it off. Wong. Hooper. Yabsley. Brown again, but he's covered. Hooper's gotten very close in there. Goes for the flick. 
deflected out by Balestrin. Steve Balestrin in the pipes there. And then a huge booming clearance by Adam Collins. It'll ice the ball. And we will reset with only one second left in the penalty. Great defense, South Australia. Excellent penalty kill there by the South Australians. Able to block off most of the shooting lanes from New South Wales and able to get that clear at the end. They do have one second left on the penalty clock. So New South Wales may get another chance to see if they can try and score. However, South Australia will be back to full strength within the next 10 seconds or so. That's true. They've got to watch the South Australian player running from the bench on. Ferrara. Here comes Ennison to uh, make it five on five. Goes straight for the ball against Sultana. Now it's Shepard on the wall. This is Mark Ferrara. In and once again, well read by Balestra and the South Australians go wild for their keeper. Into the middle, Shepard looking for the flick, nearly tapped through, another tap down, that time by Sultana. They're really scrambling now in defence, they just need to get a break. Mark Ferrara, across to uh, Golding, good to see him back out there. Cut away now, this is Joe Innocent, South flicked Australia over. Here's Collins, oh, just wide. One of the first big shots of the game from South Australia at the New South Wales goal. An excellent take by Collins. However, taken back now from South Australia. However, there is a bit of a scramble in the New South Wales half. Innocent, down past. Into the corner. Over to Mark Ferrara. And they sub off. And Ferrara looks to hold it. Ferrara to the boards, over to Hooper. However, taken well by South Australian defence. Ferrara looking to take. And the call was offside. Yes, he was very offside. At this stage, yes. A reminder for those of you not too familiar, the ball must cross the red line in full before a uh, offensive player can follow it. Uh, they can be receiving the ball in the act of crossing the red line at the same time, but no, Wong was most definitely over the red line. They are very faint here, but they've been playing like this all weekend and he should know that by now. This is Jeff Ferrara. Takes it down into the corner. Well challenged there by Andrew Masson. Wong. Wong. Mark Ferrara. Looking to get it around the goals. Hooper's uh, running around the crease. Excellent shot there by Jared Ferrara. And However, about four South Australian defenders in his way. Yes, exactly. Here Another one Wong, there. Frozen by the keeper and it will be dropped off in South Australia's defensive half. I tell you what, this is some great defense, but South Australia is going to need to see more of that offensive play. They've had that one good breakaway, but they're going to need to see a little bit more if they're going to get ahead tonight. They had an excellent breakaway there, South Australia. However, the pressure is on them. At this stage, New South Wales keeps on pouring shots. And while South Australia's defense has failed, you can't rely on defense for the whole game to be able to win this championship. That's true. This is a winner takes all sudden death. So you do need to score at least one goal. Barrett, Barrett, number 23. Common. Checked by Sultana. How about passed off well to Cadwell? Brown on Cadwell. Common. Now this is the fast break that we're talking about. Harry and Arson down, pass through, over to Common. Common looking to go into the middle. Hansen cuts it off. Sultana, South uh, New South Wales, sorry, looking to regroup. Now through Brown. Over the half. And uh, not iced. He must have been over the half before he uh, struck the ball. And so now it's South Australia's turn uh, to take a breath while uh, the uh, lines change over on the bench. Behind the goal, this is uh, Sergeant. South Australia looking content to hold it, bide their time and wait for their options to present themselves. It looks like New South Wales are not looking to put too much pressure. However, they put just enough to be able to achieve the ball at the top of the key. Yabsley, big shot in, over, Golding chasing. Number 36, Hunt. Sergeant takes, takes it back behind, pursued by Jared Ferrara. Wong comes in to assist, however, taken beautifully by Hunt. Hunt, got a lot of ice in front. Common, however, Yabsley sends it straight back, and that will not be icing as it's over the halfway yeah. point. Yeah, you're going to have to get up very early in the morning to get past Yabsley. 
Hunt again, back to Common. Here he comes Common, down centre, over across to Hunt. Now he's a chance for a bit of a break here. Gets it over the halfway point, so New South Wales need to get back on side. Mark over the top. Here comes Hunt, off the boards. Common tries to get it past Yapsley. Common comes through, Into puts the, the middle. Center. However, Jeff Ferrara is there to pick it up. And frozen by the New South Wales keeper. It's good work by Ermish there. Happy to just hold it. Let the bench change them out. It was a long shift for a couple of them. But a good chance here for South Australia on the short. South Australia with some decent passing and run down the boards. However, good of New South Wales to get a stop, be able to change sub out and see if they can bring it right back at South Australia. You are certainly correct before. South Australia do seem content to be playing a relatively slower game. Looking for hopefully New South Wales to run themselves out. Across here. Innocent into the middle. Exposed and open. Another innocent. Innocent again. Oh, Collins nearly with a pick up there. However, it looks like South Australia will try and apply pressure to go again. Hooper at the back. Goes across to Reese in the centre. Shepard in the centre. Covered by 2,000 Australia and stripped at the line. Mason, number 13. Mass Mass Masson and Shepard contested in the corner. Into the middle, another Ferraro. Great stick trick there from Collins the Bear. And then stopped by Steve Balestrin in the pipes. Fantastic defensive work to keep the Ferrara stick in the air so he can't strike at the ball. And stick checking is a huge part of the defensive efforts of South Australia at this stage. Get their stick up in the air, they can't try and hit it in. That ball was a little slower, have an excellent work by Balestrin to be able to pick it up and get that freeze. It's a goalkeeper's dream when they can't even hit the ball at you. <laughs> can't hit the ball, they can't score. Now we've got Yabsley at the back, over to Jay Ferrara. Picked up by Golding, marked by Barrett. Switches back over to Barrett from Ferrara. Cut across the middle, Golding couldn't hit his stick on it. Now we've got Sergeant behind, going back to Masson. With the unusual coloured helmet. Think of a Jeff Ferrara helmet, but oh, he tried the flick, it didn't work out. Golding came Number running in, Girardi. contested. And they go again with another Ferrara. And Balestrin covers it up. So yes, most players out there in the preferred black helmet, of course, notable exceptions being Jeff Ferrara in what could only be called the Chrome Dome. 100%. It's unique and you cannot miss it, whether you like it or not. With a lot of these elite players as well, a lot of them don't wear face cages. Yes, well, they uh, must have a lot of money to spend on dentistry. <laughs> Look, they have the, the stick skills to be able to prevent those kind of injuries, but all it takes is one. Now Ferrara. Ferrara. Can't kick it into the goal, but he tried. Hooper. <laughs> Brown. Reece Shepard. Winds up. Can't get it past the defence. Common. Corball. A huge check there from Brown. Both players immediately get up and run into the corner. Go for it again. A second check. And we've now got Jabin Sargent looking for the flick, hits the flag. And look, Sean, I don't know about you, it's hit the flag, so it's going to be a reset. But I would say that should just be play on. I think that should be play on. It's not Obviously, really... Obviously, you have to respect the flag. But it's not really deflecting. It's not impacting the play. The resistance the... held against that flag would be very low. So I'd say play on, yeah. play on. Well, that's why you and I aren't referees, I guess. That's very true. We have Collins matched up against Sultana in the centre. Good push out, have a take it by Yabsley. Put through for a shot, have a block by number 11, Crowther. Here we have Sultana, back to Ferrara. Ferrara looking to take it around and pass it in. Passes it in, That's however so not close. able to convert it by the New South Wales offence. Collins, good out, however looks to be icing. Brown, looking to wind up now. 
comes across to Hansen. Well checked, and the ball will go behind the net. Hooper puts his head down, as he often does when he decides to go for a run. Has another shot on, deflected out. New South Wales setting up through Shepard. Shot on, deflected behind. Hooper looking for the flick over with the keeper down. Keepers back up and another reset. Hansen flicks it in. Another deflect, that one from Jared Ferrara. Just didn't get enough on it. It is raining here in South Australia, but the good thing is that they brought their umbrellas. Their defense for now is holding. Their defense for now is holding. Alrighty, so However, New South Wales is applying that pressure. Cuts across the middle. South Australia looking to get over the red. A very awkward check there from Hansen. Didn't quite come off. That's a check in the back, but it's still play on. Golding can't get it over the half. Krauser dragged his foot at it. And Masson to clean up at the back line. Hansen giving chase. New South Wales looking to apply pressure. It's a two on one. However, gets it away to Hunt beautifully. Jeff Ferrara. Jay Ferrara. Back to Yabsley. Winds Yabsley. up. Deflected Big down. I oh, cool. Looks to be just under the shoulder. Oh, that looks very, very close. But again, Jabs was right there, the referee, and called it fine. Mark Barrett wrestling on the wall with uh, Jared Ferrara. Mark Ferrara, I think it is. Mano. Big check no. there by Yabsley. I'll tell Puts you what. Mano on the ground. However, he's back up straight away. Tell you what, for not a lot of man-on-man -man pressure early in the game, we have certainly seen a lot of it as this first half draws to a close. 13 Seeing seconds the on the clock. Increase. See if anyone can score. Of course, we play the whistle here at Broomball. If the referee says that stick wasn't high, despite what you're seeing on your screens, it was not high. South Australia looking to convert in these final eight seconds here. Goes high. Caldwell looks to potentially push in the back on Mark Ferrara there. However, picked up beautifully by Brown. Brown looks to have his leg lifted up. And no call as we enter halftime. Well, the referee has got his hand in the air. And he is making a signal. 69 is going to start the second half with a two minute penalty. Right there. All right, guys. At halftime, we've got a special treat here. This is Sal Newenham. Have I got that right? You nailed it. Nailed it. Excellent. Just like you nailed that goal in overtime. How does that feel? Uh, I was about to swear, but I realised there's probably kids around. Uh, it felt bloody amazing. Um, we definitely went out there with a calm attitude. Um, that three on three is really, there's a lot of pressure on, the, um, on our whole team and to go out there and, I don't know, just a coach talked to us beforehand and just said to us, make sure you free. Make sure you just calm down, don't rush, don't panic. And when that ball got sent across to me beautifully from Sophie Common, I had no choice but to bloody send it. It was, it was a brilliant hit. I know you guys have been in training for eight weeks for this tournament. At least. At least eight weeks. Had you practiced those sort of setups, the three on threes? Nope. <laughs> well, it's good to know experience comes through in the end. All right, we're back with the second half shortly with Sean. Thanks, Sal. Thank you so much. All right, here we go, back for the second half. Hooper, Yabsley, Wong. All right, Yabsley, over to Brown. Hooper now, palms it down, knocked away by Innocent. Back to Brown. Hooper, another shot on, out the back, nothing doing. Yabsley again. Back to Hansen, who's left it for Brown. Looking to get the overlap. Of course, remember, this is on a penalty. 
So looking to try and take advantage of that extra man, try and trade that overlap. Brown, Hand, uh, Hooper, Brown again. South Australia managing to cut it off and just disrupts the play for the moment. Brown again. Has the shot on and deflects it in off the top post, the crossbar. South Australia get back and say, don't worry about it, keep. We'll get one back. But we are 1 0 New South Wales. Beautiful shot from the back, straight off the crossbar, over the line. Unfortunately, unable to be stopped by his own South Australian player. Excellent ball for New South Wales team, capitalising on that penalty beautifully. I tell you what, it was millimetre perfect. It just caught enough of that cross, that crossbar to just bounce down. So here we go again. Yeah, absolutely, over the half. Knocked down. Thought it was a hand pass, but it's play on. Here comes Innocent. Across, covered by Jay Ferrara. Innocent looking for a shot out. To 74. Innocent again. Sergeant. Sergeant holds, holds, covered by Golding. Good flick pass, have it picked up by Jeff Ferrara. And Sultana going for the easy ice. Looks like New South Wales is looking to sub. And that'll be called icing. Now this will be dropped in the New South Wales defensive half as it was iced by Sultana. South Australia looking to claw back in terms of bringing a 1-1 draw to bring this game to overtime or hopefully go for the win. New South Wales looking to hold on or apply further pressure to be able to bring yeah, this game out of reach. We've seen a lot of defense from uh, South Australia so far, but they're going to have to go all out attack here if they look to uh, try and get back into this game. I've seen in previous games, they can turn on the offense. However, will New South Wales turn off their defense? We have 13 minutes to find out. Reese Shepard behind, behind the goal. Covered by South Australia, however, puts his body on the line and blocks. Shepard pushes up, pushes up, continues his run, looks to flick over, hits the top, and it'll be dropped back in New South Wales' defensive half. It's unfortunate, unfortunate that roof is so low. It stopped many a play, players in their tracks. <laughs> Arguably, it's one of the best defenders in the uh, in the competition. It does ensure a certain play style uh, succeeds here in South Australia, definitely. Exactly, low flicks or fast and powerful shots across the boards usually yields the best results. Definitely. Now, we have Mano, Hooper, Shepard takes again. Deja vu he takes it back behind the New South Wales goal. Over to Mark Ferrara. Ferrara with a good run. Ferrara off the boards. And down past halfway. Masson's going to track it back. Ferrara manages to win it back. Hooper was right there at the top. He had Hanson in support. Both didn't get enough on the stick. And it comes across to Brown. Checked on the boards by Barrett. Around the back now. It's Matt Barrett. Nearly took Hooper's legs out. Hooper manages to stay on his feet. First time for everything. Reece Shepard. Ferrara, Mark, has the shot behind the goal. Hansen, Shepard. Brown coming off, Yabsley coming on. Hansen, back to Yabsley, another change. It was Mark off, Jared on. New South Wales managing to swing more changes. Shepard off, another Ferrara, this one Jeff is on. Taking advantage of the control possession to get some fresh legs on the ice. Around the side, Jeff Ferrara checked with Matt Barrett. Comes around the back and now we've got Andrew Masson, the assistant captain, trying to organise his defence. Hunt. Jeff Ferrara keeping him honest. Back on the rear boards with Masson. Harry Innocent is captain and back again. Can't find a way past the wing lock. Into the middle. Now they've got a shot here. They can just get it past this line. Here it goes. But checked off by Yabsley. Comes in, a huge swing behind the goal. It was well covered by Balestra in the pipes. Hunt, trying to get the flick over to Corball. Gets it over halfway. There's a scramble in front of us, but it will go all the way down. Looks like Yabsley's going to pick up the ball behind the New South Wales goal line. 
Covered by Inarsen. Coleman picked it up in the New South Wales half. Goes for a shot. Have it blocked off by Shepard beautifully. Barrett covered by Sargent at the back. Blocked by Golding over the halfway point. And Sese has to scramble to pick that back up. Oh, it looked a little rough there from Wong, but he did put his hands up and say, it wasn't me, ref. But uh, Corey Skillington is having absolutely none of it. And Wong will spend two minutes on the bench for his troubles. South Australia looking to capitalise on its advantage now. It's a 5 on 4 in favour of the Sharks as they look to even this score up at one all. I tell you what, Wong here has got to be careful. He's talking back to the referees. At best, looking for confirmation about what he's been sent for. Hooper, Brown, Sultana and Shepard for New South Wales. Looking at two minutes on the clock with 10.39 to go. One nil sliders way. At the back here we have Masson with Sargent. Now South Australia looking to employ the same tactics. Find an opening shooting lane by moving the ball around the top and be able to capitalise and convert to bring this to a one all game. Now Masson. Intercepted by Sultana. Back over the line. That may be an icing. However, the referee has called it off. And Masson looking to bring it past. Yeah, he ran back very, very quickly for that one. Collins in the middle. Over to Sargent. Looking to flick. Tim Brown. Beautiful hand on that ball. South Australia has to get back on side. And Brown running the ball. Even though they are one man down. It looks like that was potentially a push into the boards. However, no call by the referee. I think if, if, if they're right on the boards, it's okay because they can use the board to prop themselves. So it's not considered a, a rough or boarding call. Sergeant with the flick over. Masson with the ball up top of the key. Over to Sergeant. Looking to set back up, find those shooting lanes and capitalise. Masson. Bit of a passing game here. Back and forth. See if they can find any openings. Masson holding. Looks to be almost a baseball swing there. A powerful Trying shot. Trying to get that powerful shot in. Sergeant, over the top. We've seen this before. Back to Masson. Innocent. Holding it down in the corner. Seeing there's any forwards come in there to be able to assist. Masson, back over. Shot in. Unable to be converted. However, an excellent attempt by Innocent. Innocent. Shepard goes down. Excellent oh, shot across. Another one across. And South Australia looking to apply a lot of pressure here. Looks to be iced out by Hooper. Good call, Sean. Good call. Seven seconds left on the penalty. Restart on the short. So once again, South Australia will have one, maybe two more shots on before New South Wales can get back to full strength. And with one quarter of this game left, you know they're going to be trying to take every opportunity they can to score on New South Wales. If they can get it tight, they can get it to overtime and anything can happen. However, they'll probably the best chance is most likely now. Otherwise, we're going to have to start getting into that question, that awful question of when do you pull the keeper? Exactly. And that'll be interesting to see if South Australia's not able to convert here. Hansen able to get it out. Over to Hunt. Mano. Back over Sultana. Wong looks to be chasing. However, it's called icing again. However, New South Wales are now full strength. So now it's a five on five. And New South Wales able to see if they're able to wrestle it back over into the South Australia offensive half. Yeah, it's a very good defensive effort there from the New South Wales boys. Obviously some very, very seasoned bodies out there for New South Wales who have been doing this a very long time. Absolutely. Some New South Wales players on the elite team are in double digits in terms of their national tournaments. And this is absolutely showing with their, with their finesse in being able to execute that penalty kill. Now we have Jeff Ferrara. Yeah, absolutely. Goes to Brilliant. ground. Hunt. Excellent shot, however, blocked by Ben Ermish. Excellent keeper for New South Wales. Ferrara down in the corner. Covered by Mano. Mano and Ferrara struggling. Comes in. Barrett looking to assist. Girardi goes down. However, it's New South Wales ball now. Looking for a run. One comes in. Oh, brilliantly cut off there by uh, Barrett. That's Craig Barrett. Again, also showing his many years of experience reading that play very well. They're going to swing it across the far side now with Common trying to get it past Brown over the half and in they go into attack again. Excellent check by Shepard there. However, Manon able to pick it back up. My apologies. Masson. 
And then over to Caldwell. Here we back have to Caldwell. Masson. Back to Masson. Cardwell. Not that much intensity from either team at this stage. Looking to try and get their set up. Masson on the top of the key. Looks for a shot. No good. South Australia was not there to be able to convert. However, big shot from Caldwell and goes straight into the stands. <laughs> There's decent power. Unfortunately, did not know, go where they wanted it to go. At least a shot appreciated by this very parochial South Australia crowd. Uh, I think it's a, a standing rule they have here that if you shoot it out there, then there's going to be a certain fine you have to pay at the presentation. And I hope we're able to share in that fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we start with New South Wales advantage uh, in their half. Hooper takes the face off to Jeff Ferrara. Gets it around Corbell. Running down in the corner. He's got Crowther in front of him. Behind to Hooper, who wasn't looking at the ball. You would think he would know to do that by now. And South Australia looking to clear it out. Doesn't get enough on the stick there. And it comes back down into the corner again. Hooper and Masson. This is Masson. Over to Crowther, didn't have his feet quite right, and Jeff Ferrara can beat him to it, take it back behind the wall. Masson and Hooper having a little tussle. Hooper wins it with a huge flick, but he misses his target, crosses over the half. Gabsley picked up. Come to by Nason. Caldwell, looking to chase. Has good legs, however, able to take him back behind the New South Wales goal over to Jared Ferrara. Jared Ferrara looks to be taken, however, taken by Nason. Absolutely, marked by Collins and marked with two South Australian players. However, get it, able to get it again back to Jared Ferrara. Over to Jeff Ferrara, however, jumps over the potential trip <laughs> and still has possession of the ball. Showing Collins, all, all of his athleticism Collins there. Looks to be a bit of a, a bit of a foray on the boards there, however. Yes, it's check definitely. Check taken beautifully by Sultana and a call made. Yeah, definitely, definitely a call there for the shove. Jeff Ferrara looks a little bit nonplussed about it, but uh, is taking his, his lumps and heading to the bench. South, South Australia looks to be have the advantage again, a five on four power play with South Australia. Once again, looking to tie this game up, one all. I will, I will come to Jeff's defense when I did sit down next to him. He told me I did give away a silly penalty, but then he said, quote, I do it all the time. And I think we just saw that happen. Unfortunately, we did in a finals game in the final six minutes. <laughs> However, as we've seen before, this New South Wales team can get it done in power penalty kills. We just wait here while the referees confirm with the scorer's box Jeff Ferrara's number and the uh, type of penalty. So you see it there on the scoreboard, two minutes on the box. Collins looking to take the drop. Sultana looking to ice it, as, as done before. However, Collins looks to be on him. Yabsley, Yabsley over the top. This may be called icing, however, looks like South Australia will get there first. Yeah, waved off, as so uh, Jabin Sargent will uh, walk it back. The South Australians are looking to uh, control the tempo here. They've got the extra player. They just need to get it over that red line. Here we go with the flick. Yes. Tap down, crosses back forward again from Joe Innocent. Another flick this time, but it now cut off by Golding. And South Australia looking to hold, uh, sorry, New South Wales looking to hold that red. But they're through here. Looks to be taken by Sergeant. Sergeant coming through. Marked by Shepard, Sultana. I'll tell you what, Gabsley. Tim Brown doesn't have a stick. And a South Australian player is now being sent, I think, for interference holding onto Tim Brown's stick. Tim Brown was standing there with his hands in the air at the front at the defensive crease. I'm sorry to interrupt you there, Sean. No, not a problem at all, Brian. Thank you for the comprehensive breakdown. It does look like a South player today has been sent, and now this will be four on four. And the way that New South Wales has handled these penalty kills, it looks like to be in New South Wales' favor at this stage. They'll have a full strength team before South Australia is able to get their man back within two minutes. Excellent, yeah, so four on four for the next one minute, nine seconds as Adam Common joins at Jeff Ferrara in the penalty box, and a timeout has been called. Now for all you watching at home, timeouts are allowed, one per team in a finals game, and this goes for one minute. So we'll be back to the major action within a minute.
So here we go at the restart, four on four, New South Wales, Brown, Hanson, Shepard and Wong. And for South Australia, we have got Collins, Joe Innocent, Andrew Masson, and on the far side, I think that's Jabin Sargent, number 85. Beautiful work. So here we go, four on four for the next one minute. Flicked over. Crossed, Brown just knocks it back through, and Craig Barrett picks it up. Innocent calling it for it on the left. It touches the flag Hansen again. And touches the flag one. This is the second time this game we've had a flag violation. I do like the flags. Do not have anyone listening to this call get me wrong. But they do, they've got to do something. They've got to be a little bit different. They have resulted in two play stoppages. So they have excellent defense as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Wong and Collins at the face-off. Out to Brown. Winds up. Hansen tried to flick it down. Masson takes it behind the goals and then over to Collins on the wall. Up to Brown. Another stick goes down. That's Barrett's, that's uh, Sergeant stick, sorry. And now he's just going to try and play a bit of soccer to try and hold the ball up. Shepard. Charging in, he's free, he's got Hansen free as well, it's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, flicks it over and tapped in! It's an own goal! Tapped in it's by Adam goal. Collins! Oh dear, and he puts his head in his hands. The loneliest place in the world he is right now. And New South Wales takes a 2-0 lead with 4.28 to play. Brian, that is absolutely heart-wrenching. Oh, you <laughs> to be in any game in any moment and to score an own goal but to do it in a final it, it, it is a tough feeling to face and oh oh dear oh dear New South Wales they were in such a strong position there now hang on a minute here the referees are having a little chat looks like a chat between the teams Oh, they're just clarifying, yes, they're just clarifying what the uh, penalties mean because New South Wales scored. So technically, if you... So my, my expert down here on my left is uh, suggesting that maybe they should be doing something else, but the referees look like they're continuing the four on four, even though the SA penalty is technically over because New South Wales scored a goal. However, oh yes, and there we go. Now there it goes up, a confirmation that it is most definitely two nil New South Wales. The goal has been counted. So the line of reasoning from South Australia is New South Wales scored Therefore, there's no longer an advantage and we're able to bring back our player on the field. However, there are some discussions with the referees and it does look like it's going to continue to play four on four, well, at least for the next 30 seconds. Well, that just confuses me, to be honest. At this stage, there may be a stipulation due to, own, to an own goal. However, I'm not sure at this stage. Now, we have Brown at the back looking to hold the ball as New South Wales is now two up. Golding looking to take it down on the boards. Runs it into the corner in front of Barrett. Sorry, in front of Masson. He's gotten a bit fired up after that last incident. Harry Innocent. And here comes oh. South Australia. Masson looking to take it past Brown. Passes in the centre. Almost taken, however, beautifully intercepted by Sultana. Sultana looks to potentially pass it off to Shepard on the wing. Have New a looks to go and cross. New South Wales penalty over. So Jeff Ferrara back on the ice. Five on four. And Common now coming on the ice. Five on five. All penalties are now over. It's an so, interesting question here. When are South Australia, if they're going to pull their keeper? Well, I think they have to, right? They're going to need to find at least two goals. Tim Brown. Knocked down, but they're still here. Jeff Ferrara. Running away from Common. Using that toe, but uh, his radar looks to be a little bit off. Jared Ferrara. Mark Ferrara even. They're identical twins, please forgive me. Common. <laughs> 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 
There's an offside call, so South Australia setting up once again, trying to get it over the red. And taken by Tim Brown at the back. Tim Brown, a stalwart on defense for this men's elite team. Barrett looking to pass back. Hunt in the center, however, taken beautifully by Yapsley. Long across the top. Oh! Looks to be a tough and stumble and saved by the South Australian keeper. That was a brilliant save. Brilliant save by Balestrin. Around the back, Hooper back. looking for the third goal for New South Wales. Wong trying to drag it in. And now they're on the off. This is Adam Common taking it into the offense. Here comes Common across Tim. Tim strips. Tim Brown takes it right back, has a double check, and the ball will roll towards the keeper. Kicks it out to Sargent. South Australia. Through Luke Innocent. Looks to be Ferrara. Lenarsen, Shepard. Oh, taken in the centre by South Australia. Collins, here he goes. Unfortunately blocked by New South Wales for South Australia. South Australia are calling South their Australia keeper, so it's an here. empty Ooh. net. It's an empty net. A bit of rough and tumble down, however, Sultana takes in the centre. Now it is a six on five, however, South Australia do not have their goalie. If New South Wales can manage a flick, they may be able to get 3 0. Innocent, over the halfway again. Big taken check. By Sultana. Shepard. Looking to take it across, however, taken by Collins. Collins in the centre. And Aysen, oh, excellent so shot. However, just outside of the New South Wales goal. Now taken by Common. Yeah. Common, checked by Reese. Collins at the back here. Now, South Australia do have numbers. However, it's up to them in the next one minute and 13 seconds to use it. Common. Oh, around the back again. Shot in, however, unable to be converted by the South Australia forwards. And Aysen looking for a check. However, still held by Wong at the back. See, really, realistically, South Australia should have two on the ball at all points here. If they do not have the ball, they should be putting two on these New South Wales players. But I only see one red shirt down there. Exactly on the top, right. that was clearly an obstructive fall. Referees and have their hands up, looking like they're So realistically, all South Australia should be doing now is giving New South Wales the, the ball, ball because they have a penalty. a penalty. They can, and there it is. So with 39.5 seconds to play, uh, and a timeout called, it is uh, Louis Sultana sent off, and South Australia will have 40 seconds to score two goals, the first of which will be at least a six on four. A six on four works well for South Australia. The only thing against them at this stage is the time difference. Yeah, the time, the time is the major factor here. S scoring within one within 40 seconds is difficult. Scoring two is magic. However, this is the city of churches. Let's see if we can get a miracle <laughs> here today. I'll tell you what, my under 12s footy coach always told me it only takes 20 seconds to score a goal, and that's on a much bigger field. And they only need two of them. And they only need two to, put, to force an overtime. New South Wales and South Australia having team discussions now, discussing obviously strategy. Yeah, was that the right angle? <laughs> and we have five seconds left of this timeout. Both teams looking to take the ice to settle this game once and for all. South Australia looking to score three to take this win home, two to tie it up, and New South Wales looking to hold them out to be able to be crowned elite champions However, there is still 39 seconds left. Still 39 seconds. You must back New South Wales at this point, but I would like to see South Australia at least put one in, make it a bit interesting. Here we go. The final possession held for the 2023 International Broomball Championships. Now, here we have South Australia looking to scramble. New South Wales putting some physicality on. Big shot in by Mason. Mason. Oh, Tim Brown. Tim Looks Brown. To take it across. And it's a goal! Bang! And that puts the exclamation mark on this game. Tim oh, Brown yeah. with a last second goal to take the New South Wales slide. It's 3 0 against the South Australia Sharks. Oh, I tell you what, that hurts. It's the risk you take with an open net, but South Australia had to take that risk. Exactly right, Tim effort in getting it across the line and giving that perfect flick to be able to get it in the goal. South Australia fought hard, however Tim was just able to get across and be able to really put the nail in the coffin here.
All right, so it's just a formality here now. Round going for it again. It's another open net. Bounces off the back wall. Masson over to Luke Innocent. Into the middle. Harry flicks it onto the roof just for good measure. And we stop with 4.1 seconds to go. I should also point out New South Wales is still only four on the ice because uh, Sultana is still in the box from the face-off. Hooper back to Shepard, deflected out, and that will be one more shot from Shepard before the siren. It's New South Wales three, South Australia zero. A great game all round. And New South Wales undefeated, as you said, Sean, in this tournament and deserving winners of the trophy for 2023. Excellent effort from both teams all around. New South Wales, however, was dominant in offense and able to win the attempts that they had. Yeah, you feel that 3-0 scoreline not really reflective of the game. New South Wales certainly had a lot of possession and a lot of pressure, but there were a couple of goals that just snuck in a little bit there. South Australia with the excellent defense. All credit goes to their defense line, their forwards, their keepers. Unfortunately, with that second goal, it's hard to see an own goal, especially in a finals game. Um, have a huge credit to the South Australia Sharks team representing their state and being able to put a cap on a wonderful 2023 national tournament. Most definitely enjoy the highlights, and we'll see you shortly.
that about wraps it up here from the Ice Arena here in Thebedon, uh, Adelaide, South Australia. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next year for more Nationals coverage of Broomball Australia.